Alright guys, what's good? It's Bonkeezy. Doing a solo pass, I don't expect too much of the commentary, but right now we got Jam Jamajaro versus Raptor. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, Jamajaro made an upset. No, it's Jamajaro, excuse me. On Dark Blues to get here. So, definitely a good milestone, but Raptor's gonna be a much tougher opponent. Definitely a more seasoned player, by, uh, I would say. No disrespect to Dark Blues, though, the Raptor's is very good. <laughs> but right now, Raptor opening up the gates with 100% compared to his 42. But Gem Jar, I'm gonna say, play the same game, try to keep Yoshi out, because Yoshi will definitely just outbutton most characters in the game, and Snake definitely being one of them, because a lot of Snake's neutral attacks are very committal, like forward air, down air, up air, like, the list goes on. Uh, but right now, Raptor gonna capitalize off his advantage state. Nice forward air. And I think we can see a. A big shift in momentum if Gemma Jara can just get some get some setups. Oh, what? He didn't mash anything. That <laughs> that is not a true combo until 160 plus um, down throw up tilt. That is. All right, both players sitting at zero, but Raptor strikes first. And what's really good about what Raptor's doing right now is that uh, Gem Gemma Jara has been throwing a lot of his grenades. Uh, vertically, and Raptor is taking that horizontal approach because Snake, he already committed to throwing a grenade, and Raptor is punishing that, which is really good. Fishing for the jump there, not going to find it. Jim Jar put in disadvantage right now. You can drop shield. And that's really interesting as well that the the grenade will be stopped by uh, an egg from Yoshi. Which is really valuable information because uh, I would say like Great is a, such a good projectile, gets you out of combos and uh, sets up for them. So definitely something Raptor can wants to keep track of when playing this, playing this match. Nice spot dodge read, trying to cover the high, but Jimajara with the invul or the uh, invincibility <laughs> on that uh, cipher. On the ledge right now. Nice up tilt. That is such a good move. It is big, it's powerful, and it's fast. <laughs> it, it's, it's all the requirements that you need for a good move. And right now, this is the first time Gemma Jara has, a, has had a lead this game. And Snake with a lead is definitely very scary. Let's see how far he could take it. Gonna have to go high? I don't think that's what he wanted. I think he wanted to grab the ledge there. But he was facing backwards, so he cannot. Nice, the backer breaking through the egg and gonna sour spot gonna hit Yoshi. Oh, Raptor looking for something crazy right now. Wants to get that down air into a confirm, which would be a lot of damage and a huge shift. Alright, both these players are separated by only like nothing percent. But Jamajar not gonna find the convert. I think conversion. I'm pretty sure he wanted to give an up air there, but he got the up smash buffer. Um, only he will know though. <gasps> F smash right in your face. <laughs> That's definitely not what he wants. Probably an F tilt. But regardless, that move is still. Ooh! Oh, the tech! I, that was a really good tech. <sighs> Raptor looking to cover. Oh, wow! Breaking the cypher and getting the fair spike. That was crazy. Man, Yoshi is crazy, man. That was definitely a really close, close game one. Um. Jamajaro was playing really good with the lead. But going further, um, I just think he has to mix up his disadvantage a bit more because Raptor's advantage coupled with like the no mix-ups, uh, not many mix-ups I'm seeing from Jamajaro is like them costing him like many of his stocks. I mean like Snake's disadvantage is like bad anyways, but moving into game two, gonna run back to PS2 with the good music right now. Okay, <laughs> there, there he goes. Two to three piece right now. Uh, Raptor not gonna be hit too happy about that, but Jam and Jar are gonna take that to the bank. Let's see how he capitalized off of that. All right, Raptor with the immediate retaliation, 77 and climbing, 107. Ooh, nice back here out of the cipher, and gonna find another one off that tech chase. Something I want to see Jam and Jar, Jam and Jar start doing more. That is a tongue twister. I want to, I want to see him position himself at ledge and shield the eggs instead of respecting them. Because he's like, that, that's super ne negative, my friend. Grab, gonna whiff it. 
Nice dash attack and to cover the jump. There you go. That's the ledge trapping I like to see. But Raptor with another uncharacteristic SD. Can't be too happy about that one. I'm like this game is looking a bit dire right now, but he will need to pick it up in game three, assuming we go that far. F throw into the ledge trap. Nice. I like I like the idea from Raptor. He was looking for the shield because that's what Jamajar did last time, but just misspaced himself. He had to read his wrong execution. So let's see if he can capitalize off that later. Looking for the high recovery, not going to find it. Jam Jar going to punish him for that. <laughs> Nikita, man, that's a good move. That stays out for a minute. And right now, Raptor is approaching that. That. Very scary, 160 plus percent. It should be huge. Down tilt. Let's up the up smashes right now. Down air? Oh, that should have been your life. But the back throw from Raptor looking something crazy. The Nair not going to break the Cypher. That, I don't know if that move breaks it. I don't know how much OG's Nair does, but I'm pretty sure 8 damage plus will break a Cypher, but don't quote me on that. Oh, that's a true confirm at that percent. Yep. Everyone forgets about that, including myself. Um, down throw into F tilt. It is character and weight dependent, if I recall correctly. But gonna move into game three, but we have to uh, remind ourselves that Raptor did SD twice. One being at zero and one being at 100. And striking Unova and Yoshi's. I could see why. Smaller stages doesn't really give Snake it's like smaller in a different way from like. Oh, thanks, Ralph. Oh, nice. Stop battle, Yoshi Snake. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Uh. Anyways, back to game three. The whole set gonna be on. Oh my god, that voice crack. <laughs> whole set gonna be on PS2 with the good music though. Oh, and well, I did not realize that dash attack it goes under the eggs. Like, yeah, you, Snake just low profiles himself so much when he dash attacks. And as I was saying all that, a lot of grenade trades happened and a lot of buttons happened. And all of a sudden, Gem Jar is at 81. 87, excuse me. Nice, wow, he just caught that. But Raptor gonna retaliate with the down B. Back throw into a ledge trap. Oh, he is looking for something crazy, but that move has a lot of startup on it. Like, a ton of startup. <gasps> Punish on the whiff grab. Oh, uh, they're not gonna get the stock just yet, but Jamajar is stuck in disadvantage right now. Egg, I mean, excuse me, grenade. <laughs> Both moves set up, so it's kinda confusing. And wow, that up tilt is just so massive. Something we all are accustomed to. Down are very close to the top, and I am surprised Jamojara has not really abused his uh, armor on the Cypher to set up, but at the same time, I'm sure he doesn't want to put himself in disadvantage. Because that's like one of the like the give and takes with uh, Snake's up B. It has armor, but, and, but it puts you in disadvantage and you get the setup. The fair gonna get a, kill him off the top, wow. But <laughs> Raptor just trading a stock for a stock. That was crazy. And these two, are, these two competitors are just dead even right now. The last hit of the downer are going to shield poke. And giving Raptor a ton of momentum right now. Oh, I'm not sure he wanted that input. That could have been a downer. That could have been 23% with Women Crucial. Like, Crucial, excuse my speech today. Wow, and that move is positive. I did not even know that. All right, right now we're seeing the same old song and dance from both these players. Nice air dodge to the ledge, doesn't really go high that time. And I think right there, when Raptor back air to shield, Jamma Jara could have grabbed him, considering that the, the back air is a bit stale now. Because stale moves do affect shield stun. Nice, and Raptor has just been playing the stock, like, immaculately. 
Ooh, not gonna drop deep for the uh for the fair. But down B, that's your stock. Raptor has been playing like a man possessed this these last few exchanges. Just winning everything. And nice. He's not gonna match on Snake because he was he, he was aware that Snake could pull a grenade um out of disadvantage. Which is like which is really good for the character. Frame one. <gasps> Drops on fair, not gonna find it, but Jamma Jar looking for that. <laughs> Fair himself, looking for the early stock. At this point, he kind of needs it. Ooh, not seeing the downer that time from Raptor for the tech chase. Instead, he's going to go for the back air. All right. <laughs> nice little uh, tech chase, if you will. And it just felt like Raptor's game for uh, the entirety of these last two stocks. Like, he has just been playing on point. I cannot stress that enough. All right, Jamma Jar looking for something, something crucial. He he needs to find ways to keep Raptor in the corner. I feel like he's letting him get out, getting out of the corner uh, for free. Oh, up air. Oh, that was so close. That would have broken it, too. But going to catch the landing, and that's going to be the set. 2-1 to Raptor. Yoshi wins. Well, now we have a little replay of what happened. There it is, up air. Such, that, that was really textbook by... um. Oh, my God, I'm sludge. That was really good by Raptor because... Uh, usually what players do is that they see someone in the air and they're like, okay, like I gotta go chase them and hit them, right? But instead Raptor was like, all right, I'm gonna shark under under him because Snakes' advantage sucks and kill him. He just like literally stayed under him and reacted. 